Hi, my name is Taryn Smith. I am here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, Massachusetts, here today to talk to you about the assembly of the trumpet, as well as hand position and posture. First thing you're going to do is make sure that the trumpet case is on a flat surface and facing up. So a good way to tell if it's facing up is that the logo or the brand of the instrument will be facing the ceiling. Please never open it like this or upside down. Okay. So you're going to undo the clasps, open up the top, and then you're going to see the trumpet in two pieces. You're going to see the main body of the trumpet and you're going to see the mouthpiece. You'll also see some accessories that we'll get into a little bit later. What I'd like you to do is pick up the trumpet, okay, and I'd like you to just place that in your left hand. I'll show you more details about playing it in just a minute. Then you're going to take the mouthpiece, you're going to insert the end of the mouthpiece into the mouthpiece receiver and just give it a gentle twist. That's all it is for assembling the trumpet. Now, one thing I want to make you aware of is our valves are very important to keep oiled. Um, this is something you need to learn right away, so please make sure you see the video on maintenance on the trumpet so that you can learn how to properly oil your valves. Okay, so I'll close the case. What I'm going to do is show you the hand position. Your left hand actually holds most of the weight of the trumpet. Okay, you're going to take your left hand and wrap it around the valves, okay, or the valve casings. Um, what you need to do is try and pretend like you're holding some sort of tennis ball sized object so that you're not squeezing the trumpet really hard, okay? You have some space between your hand and the valve casings, okay? okay. And then you're going to place your one of your fingers into this ring here attached to the third valve, okay? This is the thir third valve slide ring. Um, and Find a way that your fingers fit comfortably. This is how it fits comfortably for me, but I just urge you against putting your entire finger through. You should only be up to about the first knuckle or so, okay? Then with your right hand, what you're going to do is you're gonna place your three main fingers here, one, two, and three, right on top of the valves. Now notice the cushy part of my fingers are right on top of the valves. They're not over like this, okay? So keep them nice, curved hand, like a tennis ball as well, just like this one. Then you're going to take your pinky and you're going to place it on top of this pinky hook, okay? Um, I urge you also against putting your pinky in here, just place it right on top. And then your right thumb can go just between the first and second valves. So it's gonna go right there, right up onto the lead pipe, okay? So three fingers pinky on top, thumb between first and second valves, and that's how you hold the trumpet, okay? Now you can let your trumpet go with the right hand and hold it tightly in your left hand and just put your arms alongside. And I want you to just think about a good posture where your head, the top of your head, the crown of your head, almost as if you're pulling a string attached to the top of your head, okay? That's really gonna align your spine, okay? Now we want our body to be nice and straight up and down because we have lungs to expand and if we're hunched over like this, we won't be able to fully breathe, okay? We need full breaths. So just put your feet shoulder width apart, put your shoulders, just let them be natural, okay? And then for good posture, you're going to put your hands in the correct position, but you're going to bring your instrument to you. Don't go to your instrument. So this is what I don't want you to do what I do want you to do. Notice how I maintained my really great posture. Now, notice I'm standing up. You're probably not gonna be standing up when you play in most band classes or rehearsals, um, but I do urge you to practice standing up because it causes great body alignment. But when we sit down, we wanna keep the best possible posture as if we are standing up. So now I'm gonna move over to the chair and take a seat. <laughs> Now that we're sitting down, what I want you to be aware of is that your back should not be touching the back of the chair, okay? We should be able to have proper posture if we didn't have a back of the chair. If we just were sitting on a stool, we'd be just fine as trumpet players. Now, I want you to sit towards the front of your chair, put your feet in a comfortable flat position. It's okay if they're not perfectly um, perpendicular, if one's in front of the other because that's more comfortable, that's perfectly okay, all right? 
Um, so get yourself in a comfortable position. Now, imagine that string on the crown of your head and just imagine it being pulled up, okay? Your spine should be nice and aligned. Try and take a nice deep breath. You should be able to breathe fully. Bring your trumpet up to your great posture. 